I saw people, skeleton people, I mean, 80 pounds, 60 pounds, there was nothing but bones, couldn't eat. That was the worst part, and for months and months, no light, no nothing, just work, work, and work. I'm getting very nervous just talking about it. Hmm? Like you want to do no, I'm okay. What, what were you saying? I'm getting nervous just thinking about it. I know that the next few days I'm going to have sleepless night. Every time I talk about it, I get very restless. I see back all those things. As a human, you cannot describe what the German did to the human being. It dehumanized us, like I say, like an animal who had to work like a slave. I see myself like a slave. There is a very small space between humanity and animal. Very, very small. My estimate of the, no the total death toll in my book was 10,000 for Dor, and the reason I gave that number was because of the 20,000, approximately 20,000 prisoners who died in the Dora camp system, many of them died in camp, sub-camps that were unconnected to the V2 program, so that you cannot attribute the entire 20,000 deaths to, uh, to the V2 program. When I was growing up, uh, Von Braun and his rocket colleagues were the so-called good Nazis. They were celebrated on the cover of Life magazine. They were the subject of a Norman Rockwell portrait. And there was always a little nervous uh, giggle when Von Braun was mentioned. Uh, he, he is uh, referenced uh, by intimation in that great Tom Lehrer song. Uh, about, about launching rockets into the air. Uh, but these were the good Nazis. These were our Nazis. Who would have thought that even the good Nazis, our Nazis, were involved in Nazi crimes? That they were Nazi criminals. Did you ever see von Braun at Pinamunde? Sure, we saw von Braun. We saw von Braun. We saw uh, Himmler. We saw Göring. They all came to see the ultimate weapon. The, the best evidence against von Braun, Rudolf, and, and some of the others is their own signature on captured Nazi documents, documents that were captured especially by American and British forces at war's end, and those documents we have in significant numbers. The decision to use the forced labors, the concentration camp inmates, was a decision by primarily Himmler and with him also Speer, and they decided that one should use the captive um, uh, inmates and should use them to build, to manufacture the rocket in the Mittelwerk, in uh, uh, the underground factory. Uh, von Braun tried to dissuade them. In von Braun's case, you've got his, his uh, initials and his signature on documents relating to the selection of concentration camp inmates to work on particular projects in which he had a special interest. You have both Rudolf and von Braun at a meeting with the SS on the subject of uh, uh, taking more captives in France and bringing them to Germany to work as concentration camp inmates on the V2 program. And this document is from von Braun to Director Slavatsky of the Mittelwerk on the 15th of August, 1944, and it talks about setting up a workshop in the tunnels, and the key paragraphs are here, uh, the second paragraph, in which he talks about following Slavatsky's suggestion to go to Buchenwald and to get prisoners from Buchenwald uh, who have technical skills transferred to Dora in order to set up this 
workshop for ground vehicle test devices. By the fact that he was in Buchenwald and talked to the camp commandant implicates him in the use of concentration camp labor. This is a, um, a document from August 2, 1969. It's just uh, about two weeks after uh, Armstrong and Aldrin landed on the moon. And it's a letter from Werner von Braun, signed von Braun, uh, to uh, Major General uh, Julius Klein, a retired U.S. military officer. But the most interesting uh, part of this Apollo 11 letter uh, is the, uh, the P.S. And uh, in the P.S., von Braun acknowledges that he had indeed uh, been a member of, of uh, the dreaded SS. Um, and then in the last paragraph of his long P.S., he writes, I would appreciate it if you kept this information to yourself, as I think it could only harm my work at NASA if all this were given undue publicity, particularly at this time. And then it's initialed W.V.B. Werner von Braun. The mass production of the V2 was done in the middlework that was about in the center of Germany in the underground factory. The development was done in Peenemünde and the testing was done in Peenemünde. There was very little contact between the two. You were a slave laborer at Peenemünde? What were we? We were 400 French, 400 Russian, and I think 400 Polish. At Peenemünde? At Peenemünde. And, and again, as Ernst said, uh, the Peenemünde people had really nothing to do with it at all. That was strictly a decision by the SS. Yeah. Yes, there was a small concentration camp that was set up in Peenemünde in 1943 at the beginning of the production program at Peenemünde. And concentration camp labor was also used in other production sites for the V2 program. And then, of course, Dora was created underground after the air raid on Peenemünde, and that led to the development of, of uh, uh, slave labor production on a large scale. Now, when I was in Peenemünde, I was responsible for the, the construction of uh, Doppler tracking systems. And when the war ended, I was offered a job by the, um, by the um, army, American army. So I came in '45 to Fort Bliss. That is Instrument Society of America. These are service medals from NASA. There, first we fired uh, a, a few uh, V2s. And then we started with development of the first missile here, that was the, the Redstone. One of my buddies, and Dr. Grüner, he died already, his wife is still living here. He had to go to Middlewerk once for a week or so for documentation of you know. Yeah. And he came back and he said, gosh, I wish we could get we would have food like they have. Do you know? That means they were feeding them very well because they wanted them to do work. So see what he says is slave labor was slaving so far since you were forced to work there. Yeah? And probably if they try to, you know, try to make some trouble, she, she put them in jail or what, I have no idea. But on the other hand, she were fed very well to be sure the production is high. Yeah? I can believe. What is your what is your reaction to uh, what you've just seen uh, on camera? Oh well, 
if you just look at the picture of the skeleton in Dora, you cannot say they were treated well, well and they had good food. 